flat of Ms. Larissa Lukin. Welcome to Larissa Lukin's home. How can I help you? This is Phoenix Wallace from the Adrianopolis Peace and Security Center. Inform Ms. Lukin that I'm here. Please hold. Working. Thank you for your cooperation. Please proceed inside. Hey, didn't I see a similar set in Bogdanov's house? Maybe it's a new trend. Oh, that's real cute. All this old-fashioned romance stuff gives me the heebie-jeebies. Nice color. Nice. That must be Ms. Lucan. Hello, Ms. Lucan. Who are you? Oh, I am Senior Officer Phoenix Wallace from the Adrianopolis Peace and Security Center. What can I do for you, Officer Wallace? I would like to speak with you regarding urgent peace business. Oh, I don't know. My sorrow is very deep. Maybe some other time. Ms. Lucan, I understand your sorrow. But life goes on, and if we are to catch the people responsible for this act of barbarism, we have to move swiftly. I need your assistance. I don't think you can understand my sorrow. I don't think I can talk in politically correct manners right now. Please, come back later, okay? Ms. Lucan, I promise I will not be offended by your manners. I just need a few minutes of your time. Well, okay then. Just for a few minutes, right? Yes, just a few questions. Please, sit down. Thank you for your patience, Ms. Lucan. I certainly appreciate your time. You're welcome, but please let us be brief. Your accent is peculiar. Where are you from? Originally from Russia. Oh, so where did you learn English? I took English courses at the Immigration Academy. Did you have many friends at the Academy? I had some friends. Usually we did not have time to socialize. I only got to know the ones in my studying group, like Vasily. Was it a friendly environment? Not really. They taught us selfishness is in the human nature and is a good thing. But teamwork is also as important, and can make everybody a winner. We are also told World Union superior system could not be achieved without teamwork, and the importance of the balance between selfishness and teamwork. Many of the novices took the selfishness too literal. They simply would not cooperate in joint assignments. I know what you mean. I face it every day myself. Do you feel safe here in the Union? Yes, I do. Never felt this way in Russia. Are you surprised about feeling safe here? No. I heard about the peace and tranquility of the Union society, but what I heard was nothing until I have seen it with my very own eyes. When did you start dating Mr. Bogdanov? About three years ago right after I graduated from the Immigration Academy. So you bumped into him straight away? No. We actually met in the Academy, graduated together, and then started dating. Why would Mr. Bogdanov go to Russia? I have no idea. This is very important for my investigation. Are you sure? Yes, I am. No idea why he would want to go there. Did he ever speak about going back to Russia? No, 
he did not. To my knowledge, he definitely had no intention of returning. Then again, who knows? Did he ever visit Russia between now and his graduation from the academy? To my knowledge, no. Do you know what Mr. Bogdanov's line of business in Russia was? To my knowledge, he was in the nuclear waste disposal business. We, I mean, in Russia, they have a big problem with nuclear waste, you know. So I heard. Nuclear energy is such a dangerous and harmful energy source, I can never understand why rogue states still insist on using it. Who knows? All I know is I grew up in Belarus, which does not have a history of nuclear disasters like Ukraine. There are plenty of Russians, Belarusians, Indian, Chinese, even Arabs in the academy. But I did not see any Ukrainians. They perhaps failed the genetic test. I'm afraid that is true. Most of our Ukrainian applicants have severe genetic defects. Nearly all of them due to genetic mutation caused by radioactivity. Mostly inherited from their ancestors. What did Mr. Bogdanov think of Russia? He called it the cursed land. He was ever so happy when he passed the final security screening. We knew we were going to get everything that was promised to us while in the academy. Everything that was promised? We were told about all the wonders and beauty of the Union during our classes. We could see the skyline of Adrianopolis from our dorm rooms and dream about shopping at the magnificent pyramid. Believe me, it was far more impressive than a full moon. What was? The mighty pyramid of Adrianopolis, of course, glowing from a distance. Well, you should see the one in Washington, D.C. someday. <laughs> I was planning to go there with Vesili next year. I think it is time for you to leave, Officer Wallace. I am not feeling very well. <laughs> I understand. I will leave after just two more questions. No, please leave now. I am not feeling very well. Okay, fine. I'll leave immediately. Thank you very much. I do need to come back later to ask more questions. When can we arrange that? I really don't know right now. In a few days, perhaps. How about tomorrow? We will need to see that tomorrow, all right? And you can make sure to call me first? Sure. Thank you. And goodbye. Goodbye. Poor woman. It must be very difficult to be in her situation. I can't even imagine what she must be going through. I think I handled her all right. That's not Larissa Lucan's flat. It's getting late, and I'm beat. Time to head home. <laughs>